and now that recon bolt at least will catch this iceberg Moving forward. But right now, there's gonna be legit queen winning that duel. A rare opportunity oh. that that happens, but at least Orvilia has an omen. She knows what? where the last one is, but Caper died by the team of AE towards this seaside. But I mean, there's nobody here. This is just gonna be a free plant right now for the team of RTS. And given their positions right here, I mean, this is gonna be scary. If a KO throws that suppression, then maybe the rest of the team of RTS, they can be caught off guard. They just have to really spray them down. Well, they're gonna have to try at the very least, but Legit Quinn has kind of donated her specter up towards Getting them, so they're gonna get that pick up. Just how effective that's gonna be, though, I am not entirely sure. And Ares definitely gonna try. She pops in with the classic right clicks. Unfortunately, Kohaibi is good to spray them down. That's a quick double. Mochi gets a double as well. All that remains is Iceberg, who will not be able to do much after all. So, Winning this round will be Renatus White as well. Now, this is out of the picture for RTS. So, this should be such a careful round for RTS because they need to be able to get those kills first before they enter. But right now, the B site is up for their taking. And this is going to be a quick plant here by this jet. But at least there are trades right now and this B site. But Kuhai oh! is going to get two, two headshots for her. She still has that refresh need for her to use. But Oriophilia, what can she do? She already gets two already, and Andari is just waiting it out. But Kohaibi, better weapon with the Spectre. She's just gonna use the spraying and pray that she always does best. She spots out Oriophilia, but Oriophilia, she's very reserved about this push. She does have that shrouded step, but no more paranoia for her to use. Oh, no. Right now, it's gonna be Kohaibi here, picking up that Vandal. But what else can she do? Well, Oriophilia gets that kill, but there's no more time for the defuse and legit queen finishes things off a three missed that shot a rare a rare picture that we just saw here but at oh. least oh. now and envious knows where an airy is but ayumi wasn't ready for the trade right now that was just a free kill for rts no more operator into play now for the team of ae this is pretty un uncharacteristic of an area I, I don't expect her to drop frags or miss op shots like that so even without the dash she's gonna get caught by envious and now that they've read some sites are weaker let's commit it towards c they're going in hard and they make the trades happen paper daddy will be able to support her teammates in that way so cosmic divide up as well just makes it even more difficult oriophilia this time getting a little bit too inquisitive pushes past it and she's gonna get punished by kohaibi all that's left is iceberg holding on to this operator. She definitely wants to save it. It's such an expensive thing and uh, used correctly, incredibly valuable as well. So, I don't know. I mean, do you think hiding around B is the best call? <laughs> Yeah, you know, well, right now, the team of RTS, they're respecting this save at the moment. So they're not really out aggressively for that hunt. So I guess there is a little bit of a reposition here for Iceberg. At least that will be a successful save for that operator. But for the rest of the team members of AE, they don't really have enough going in. Losing confidence, so they're falling back, trying to make some plays around Heaven, around... A link, and I don't know if they're gonna be able to find anything for now. Denying the spike plant with the hunter's fury, but they're just dancing around this. 30 seconds left, yeah, and there he even gets that first pick off against legit queen. But right now, even that suppression and even that ult now from that KO, with that flash, flash peak, amazing there by A. That retake was just beautiful. They managed to use that Hunter's Fury. It misses, but that ult from KO was just stellar. And even that blind. Wow. And that is the. They're a little bit reserved. They're playing these default positions right now, just really making sure that there will not be any push here by the side Whoa. of AE. But that's going to be Mochi down with Ayumi with that peak. And given that, there's going to be that neural theft as well. So right now, all of the positions of RTS is compromised. So now they know well. Well, they're well aware where they currently are, so they've stacked up that defense in terms of the B site. So, and Neri, she'll be ready for maybe a satchel, yeah, a satchel play here. But no, she gets tagged down through that smoke and that. Pressure.
presence is detected now but again it's that brilliant. dart i mean this is gonna be the beautiful place that we will be seeing from um ko now it's not just going to be about the flashes but it's also the information given i mean they might have gotten and given information back and forth but the left. best thing that happened in all of that exchange was kohaibi just using the paint shells using a little bit of gunfire and footsteps noise the to bait on. them into rotating and staying on the b side meanwhile her teammates just pushed up into a they got the spike down now and they are ready for this post plant play now just waiting and pinging out heaven they hear the dash coming in and is going in for a bit of a spray she gets a quick double a triple now looking for the force she gets it but oreophilia shuts that down real quick nine hp she's looking for the remaining members but she knows she's so low as well and kohaibi just surprising her from the back. This girl will win, but unfortunately for her, they've already backed off. The cyber cages and the satchels will allow Kohaibi to go in, and all of a sudden, Smoke's gone. Terathio tries to find something, but will not be able to get anything for the time being. Spike has been planted. Renata and White are just setting up for the same post-plant positions, hiding in the corners, waiting for those dashes to come in. They're using the off angles in case an area tries to dash in or something, but I don't think she should be. She's got an operator. Instead, it's going to be a Yumi who starts things off by walking in. Or your Philly eyes bring Terathio just falling apart. What's happening to Alder Yo Celeste? It's another secret lab flawless. For RTS, but I do have to agree with you that this might be a 9 to 3 right now, given Ooh. all of the well, given this first kill now by Envious. At least Iceberg is gonna trade her out, and Ayumi here already the third one for Ayumi right now. Peek her, and you're dead. And right now, that's just going to be legit queen. All in her lonesome, what can she do? Of course she does have the utility available for her, but you're up against four members of AE Celeste, so she has to play this smart. I don't know what that was from Ayumi, but she's still watching this angle. If she gets this, it is truly going to be the target-rich environment for the girl, but unfortunately, it's going to be Legit Queen that outplays her with a quick strafe shot. Still, though, the spike has been dropped towards the back oh, mid window. Everyone. She goes no in talk. to use her corpse, her uses an arrow, neural theft to get further information, picks up the spike now. Now that she's seen the where the Alter Ego Celeste players are positioned, she might be able to head towards a single site left. and try to break past it. But, you know, that's the thing about the neural theft. Information only lasts for so long. After a while, they can rotate around and maybe even double stack. But the fact that they've got three players remaining means that each and every single one of these sites should be pr uh, pretty secure. In fact, Iceberg right now, she's just going to go for the left. shock dart lineups. Let's see shock this. Dart. Is it going to land? It's raining from the skies. Yeah, the but no legit queen narrowly dodges them. Spike being planted now means it's going to be a retake. She wants to put her tripwire down, but she's afraid of giving her position away. Now they know she's under hell. They're pushing in along with the paranoia. Simple leapfrog. You push in, I push along with you, and we will be able to play off each other's contact. So Alter Ego Celeste making this an 8-4 first half. Yeah, the first half but right now. Okay, they're been, they've been signaled by this. Okay, the trap wire is destroyed. But right now, it's going to be a crossfire between Mochi and Legit Queen. But Ayumi and Tarathi will make it happen in terms of this entry. Left. And right now, that's going to be a 3v4. But their post plant positions are very far off. So they just really want to oh, use no. this. But the good thing, because they don't have any smokes anymore. So this is just going to be really about pure aim. Pure aim, perhaps. But you can tell that Envious has heard every single bit of movement in towards Sea Long. She knows that they're there. And instead, they're just going to play this out from the mouth of Sea Long. Instead, Kohaibi will be able to push up front, trying to do a little bit of damage. But now, it's all up to her. She swaps to her ghost. But at this range, and with the amount of players that are trying to deal with her from Dragon, she's quite expensive. So maybe a combination of that gravity well and some paint shells will be able to give them that advantage. But right now, I mean, Envious has an advantage of that peak against Ayumi. So no more KO in the picture for AE. And Envious is out for more spots out in Neri, but Neri dashes away. But repeaks to get that kill against Envious. So right now, we're seeing a little bit of a hurt now for AE as Aneri is so low and Iceberg is half HP, but the rest of the team members of RTS are very, very happy and healthy and the set 
uh, this crossfire setup between Kohaibi and Gifford ID might be something that's scary when they come in, when the team of AE come in this A site. Well, it, it, it's not going to be a crossfire for long. Kohaibi seems to have other designs in mind heading towards the B site, so that's A link area ish. She has one uh, paint shells. K for Daddy spent a uh, recon ball, didn't get much information. Okay, that works too. You know, just peek out of sewer and get a quick double kill. <laughs> Tarathio will be able to trade, but they've lost players in the process. Spike will be downed, but uh, I, I, I don't know how they can hold this. Both sides have rifles, both sides have armor. Yeah, but uh, what's powerful here is Oriophilia's paranoia. So once there is contact, I feel like she's gonna whip up that paranoia. But there is that smoke wow. to cover them up. But again, it's Oreo getting that kill and Jurassic very quick with that. Decides to deploy it. She's anchoring down the B side, rotating back and forth. They're trying to figure out where Alter Ego Celeste wants to hit this time. The KO, Null Command, going in towards C. They try to stop it, but unfortunately their utilities have been nullified. They're trying to spray down this one choke point, and thankfully it will work out. And all that leaves is Tarathiel, who's trying to lurk around and, and push in from B. Last player standing. A good effort to place for the team of AE to use that null command in terms of the entry, but they were ready for it. Although, yes, we can't use our utilities, but we can use our weapons, and that's going to be Kohaibi. Use but <laughs> legit queen just has that perfect spy cam spot donut. She sees everything. Now the cosmic divide goes up to block off A short as well as A long. But all the players from Alter Ego Celeste, or at least most of them, are just One hiding right underneath Hell, and they have actually uh, they are actually able to stop the push from coming in. Of course, we're watching Tarathio from the back as well. But right now, it leaves. Now they're going towards the sea site and looking at this area is dashing in, and what? she's gonna get Inari in that situation. Watchy didn't even care to peek because Inari just saw everything. And right now, there's gonna be that plant. A successful one oh, here in the C site, and the rest of the team members of of RTS, they're a little bit late to the party. But right now, I think are they up for a save, or they're just really waiting out any type of aggression from AE? Oh, okay. So they are just really going for that. But Aneri holding that same position is gonna be punished there by Kohaibi. And right now, this is. Oh, what a 4v3 retake for AE uh, for AE and Kohaibi. She's gonna be ready for the spray down, oh. but it's gonna be Oreovelia springing them down. It's gonna be legit queen just really clutching this out, but no, that's not gonna be possible because Therathiel is gonna respond. Ooh. The Phantom strikes again. Just I know they're going back to the A site and uh, that that's only gonna be envious here at least she has the blade storm but will she be ready for this push because the rest of the members now of ae they are ready for that dash flash play that they are ready for but right now One enemy ae remaining. rhythm like a folk and that's gonna be such a quick round now even with that showstopper they shut go high be down steal this away from renata's white renata's white have this as their map pick they were supposed to win it. They had such a strong start, but all of a sudden that has gone awry just because Alter Ego Celeste are making vision. great plays, proactive plays on the attacking side, Donut. Yeah, they've learned their lesson. They've been losing these rounds to RTS. Um, putting a halt in terms of the momentum, but right now they're answering back. I mean, AE, they really know how to get that A site, get that T site, but I mean, they're now a little bit careful because they want to secure match point for themselves and that's going to be the drone here not spotting out envious so envious now has an opportunity but she doesn't necessarily get that kill she let three people pass her by but only gets one so at least kohaibi is going to be there for the trade and right now that's going to be kephrodite shutting down that bolt from ayumi but Therathiel. she's really doing wonders as the cypher right now so it's going to be just up to mochi and as well as legit queen can One they stop remaining. this plant no oh the answer is no because it's just gonna be legit queen all in her lungs of yet that again i mean down. we've seen legit queen in this in these but right now she has 
three people that she has to go through a wall that is a e celeste can she be able to do that she smoked off so right now they're just gonna spray her down she knows where the the rest of the people are so she tries to isolate the duel she spots atarapiel but her atheal is quicker than legit queen across the board just to get some further information but none retrieve the boom bot doesn't see anything yeah, so everything's been slowed down here. AE really wants to get this win. And right now, that's going to be Tarathiel getting the jet of RTS. So no more of the duelists now into play, except for Kohaibi, who's still up and running. But that's going to be the Hunter's Fury quite early now, because it's going to be just Tarathiel dancing around this dodge. But that's all a lose because it's going to be a C kit right now and given the blade storm it's going to be quite left. scary for RTS because there are just two people remaining it's going to be K for Daigi and Mochi up for this clutch and five people from AE still up and running and this post plant position they just really will play oh off God, of the Rathiel. contact but right now Raphael is going to be there for that flank gets tagged down to 8 HP but is that going to be Revealing enough? Area. At least there will still be that distraction at least because she can just easily go to the garage. But it's going to be a Neri gear. Head of Mochi and Terapia.